Hey everyone, Justin here. I just got back from riding my bike with my friend Trevor. You know, it seems like every time we ride together, we have the same conversation. He always says to take a right here and I have to be like, no, the right's up ahead. Trust me, I know. And I'm right every time. You wanna know how I know? It's because I use a landmark. I know that whenever we pass by this yard with a bunch of pink plastic flamingos all over it, that's when we make the right. I mean, I never tell Trevor this, but if it wasn't for that landmark, I would not know when to make this turn. That yard is actually pretty famous around here. We even have people from other towns flocking to see it. <laughs> this is a small local landmark though. Some landmarks are known all across the United States, even around the world. So let's explore some of them today. On this episode of Operation Exploration, where we will explore regions of the United States. What? What, do you see? see? Okay, well anyway. In this video, we're going to be exploring some famous landmarks from the northeastern region of the United States, as well as some really cool fun facts about them. The northeastern states that we're going to be talking about today are Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. Maybe you live in one of these states and already know about some of the things that we're going to discover today. Do you know what this landmark is? That's right, it's the Statue of Liberty, standing proudly in the New York Harbor. The statue was actually a gift from France to the United States in honor and celebration of America's independence. Another famous landmark found in New York is this tall, tall building. Do you know its name? If you said the Empire State Building, you'd be right. The Empire State Building is 102 stories tall. At one point, it was the tallest building in the world and the first building ever built with 100 stories in it. When you're standing on one of its observation decks, you can see 80 miles out into the distance, even into other states. The Empire State Building is so famous, it starred in movies, alongside King Kong, of course. Another big landmark in the New York area is the New York Public Library, the third largest library in the world. And I do mean big. It's got over five million books in it. Those lion statues out front are pretty famous too. Let's leave the hustle and bustle of this city and head towards the Boston Commons, the oldest public park in the US. The Northeastern region has a rich colonial history. Uh, look at this statue of Paul Revere in the Boston Commons. He was a very important figure in America's fight for independence during the Revolutionary War. Near this area is the Freedom Trail. People can walk along this red brick path to discover places that played an important part in America's independence. Also in this area is Plymouth Rock, a very important landmark that marks where the pilgrims arrived in the Mayflower in 1620. As you head up the northeastern shores of the US, you will find the easternmost point in the continental US. This is West Quaddy Lighthouse. And since the sun rises in the east, this is the first place to see the sunrise in the entire country. Let's see if you can name this next landmark after I give you some clues. Uh, it's made of copper. It weighs over a ton. It rang out when the US Constitution was first signed and it cracked up on George Washington's birthday. Do any of these clues ring a bell? That's right, it's the Liberty Bell. Here. Check out this modern recreation of the bell's sound. Pretty cool, right? That gives you a great idea of what the bell sounded like during colonial times. This was the noise that founding fathers like Ben Franklin heard when the bell was rung. 
Some of the landmarks in this region don't have strong colonial roots or ties to America's independence, but they're important in their own way. Lots of areas in this region have covered bridges. Plenty of people travel from all over to visit and take pictures of these unique structures. They each have their own charm and history. Kind of reminds me of that uh, plastic flamingo lawn too, right? It's kind of quirky. You know, I kind of want one. Just one plastic lawn flamingo. I don't want a whole lot. I don't want to like be the next lot. What? Flamingo? Okay, well, what was I saying? Oh, that's right. Plenty of people also flock from all over to walk along the Atlantic City Boardwalk, the longest boardwalk in the United States. It was originally built to keep sand out from the hotels on the Jersey Shore. I, I guess a lot of people complained. Nowadays, not only is it the longest boardwalk in the world, it still remains the first boardwalk ever built in the US. Speaking of firsts, there were plenty of inventions and world firsts that happened here in the Northeast region. I guess people must have loved exploring the air here be because the helicopter was invented in the Northeast. And exploring the ocean too. The submarine was also invented here. Ooh. And more firsts. The first telephone call took place here. The first circus, the first color TV, the first computer, the first electric sewing machine, the first zoo, the first chairlift, the first American flag. Uh, and the first complete dinosaur skeleton discovered in North America was found here in the Northeast. The oldest synagogue and the oldest Baptist church in the U.S. are found in the Northeast, as well as the oldest working pipe organ in the United States. And it still plays today! The Northeast region is also home to the oldest active amusement park in the country. The light bulb was invented here, as well as the frozen food industry, the chocolate chip cookie, lollipops, toilet paper, jello, and oh, the game of basketball. Speaking of basketball, do you like sports? If so, you have a lot of options to choose from here in the Northeast. Nets, Mets, Yankees, Giants, Celtics, Red Sox, Bruins, Sabres, Islanders, Raiders, 76ers, Penguins, Steelers, Pirates, Jets. Hey, I got a question. When you go out to play sports, do you put on sneakers or do you call them gym shoes? Me personally, I just like to watch and I will crack open a cold pop to enjoy while I do. Or is that a soda? People in different regions of the United States will often have different words for the same thing. Do you call it soda or pop? Some people who live here in the Northeast will call this a bubbler instead of a drinking fountain or a water fountain. They'll top their ice cream with jimmies, not sprinkles. And the name for this sandwich? Well, it depends on exactly where you live, but you may call it a sub or a hoagie or a grinder. Even people in the same region will have wildly different names for this delicious sandwich. Hey, what kind of foods are popular in the region you live in? Here in the Northeast, people love their coffee milk, cider donuts, Philly cheese steaks, sugar on snow, blueberry pie, lobster rolls. Ooh, oh, that's making me hungry. Oh, must eat something. <laughs> Speaking of eating, you know what I just remembered? Did you know that flamingos get their pink color from the pink shrimp that they eat? It's true. Unless it's a lawn flamingo, they don't eat anything. And that's the thing. I'm thinking of just getting a lawn flamingo because I feel like a real one would be too much of a hassle. What? 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 Man, I really need to eat something, don't I? But before I go do that, let's go over some important and famous people that originated from the Northeast region. 
We've got plenty of presidents that were born here, like Teddy Roosevelt, George Bush, and John F. Kennedy. I'm sure you've probably read Charlotte's Web or Stuart Little. Which of those books did you like more? Well, E.B. White authored both of them, and he is from the Northeast region too. There's also plenty of athletes like Shaquille O'Neal and A-Rod, astronauts like Buzz Aldrin, artists like Grandma Moses and Gilbert Stuart, poets and authors like Robert Frost and Mark Twain, and inventors like John Deere and William Woodhove, who invented the lifeboat. There are too many to name in just one video, so maybe you should look some of them up on your own time. Each region of the U.S. is rich in landmarks, fun facts, famous people, and yummy foods. Do your own research on these northeastern states and see what you can find that we didn't even mention in this video. Who knows what you'll uncover? Oh. My. Gosh. Guys, you did not tell me there was a flamingo here. Well, hello, Mr. Flamingo. Uh, Say, I am starving right now. Do you want to run out with me and grab a snack? All right, I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, remember to always be clever. After you. Hey, hey.